Have you ever dreamed of a car which can put a minimum 10 cars inside that big one? Americans are obsessed with big cars. However, this is not always the case. Some of the world's biggest vehicles have been commissioned by wealthy individuals from the Arab worlds too. There are some truly massive vehicles out there and they're usually built for a specific purpose. Here are the top 20 biggest vehicles ever made. Belaz 75710 the Belaz 75710 is a recent vehicle as production only started in 2013. It can be categorized as a truck and can carry up to 450 metric tons. This vehicle is 20.6 meters long, 8.16 meters high, and 9.87 meters wide. Unlike most vehicles in its class, the Belaz 75710 has two engines. It has two 65-liter, 16-cylinder engines, which can each produce up to 2,300 horsepower. The car has a top speed of 60 kilometers an hour and 40 kilometers an hour when it's fully loaded. Boeing 727 Jet Limo this was one of the car projects that excited auto enthusiasts in the 2000s. The car came about when some guys decided to convert a Boeing 727 into a gigantic limousine. It weighs a whopping 24,000 pounds, and the most exciting part is it's street legal. The jet limo has sold at an auction for $275,000 in 2007. The Boeing 727 jet limo can accommodate up to 50 people. It has a big screen TV, fireplace, full bar, and full-size dance floor. It has been 11 years since the jet limo was sold. Globe Caravan The Sheik must have had several dreams of an apocalypse. That's the only explanation as to why he commissioned two gigantic caravans. The Globe Caravan was reportedly commissioned because he likes to spend time in the desert and the trailer provides the perfect getaway. The Globe Caravan has nine bedrooms and nine bathrooms spread over three floors, one of the biggest cars in the world. The Wapahelizat the Wapa Halizak can be described as the perfect motorhome. It was launched in 2006. The Wapa Halizat was priced at $263,000 and had everything you could ask for in a home. Plus, it was on wheels. The vehicle can carry a three-month supply of food, so you don't have to worry about anything when you're out in the wilderness. It can also accommodate a motorcycle in case you want to explore the dirt road. Prelude FLNG Part of the joint venture between Royal Dutch Shell, Kogis, and Impex, the Prelude is the world's first floating liquefied natural gas project. It was built to access new natural gas fields at sea that were previously either too difficult or too expensive to develop. At 488 meters long, longer than the length of four soccer fields and 74 meters wide, the Prelude FLNG is the world's largest floating offshore facility, as well as the largest ship ever built. Burlak. Jalopnik has described this vehicle as the new best Russian truck in the universe. The six-wheel amphibious truck is a sight to behold. This car can go just about anywhere and Russia was testing it to carry 10 researchers to the North Pole. The seven-meter armored truck weighs three tons. It has all the amenities like a fully stocked kitchen, shower, and toilet, which are all necessary to survive in the North Pole. The Turex Bucharest RH400. This movable vehicle is found in many mining areas across the world. The RH400 has a max power of 3,360 kilowatts and can manage up to 50 cubic meters bucket capacity. The Turex Bucharest RH400 is popular in pop culture as it made an appearance in the second Transformers film playing the role Deception Demolisher. In terms of displacement, the RH400 has 69-liter, 16-cylinder engine which produces up to 4,500 HP net power. Wrangler Giant Spider Of all of Sheik's Hamad bin Hamdan modifications, this one has to be the one that stands out. It is supposed to resemble a Jeep Wrangler, but instead looks like a classic vehicle. Yahoo has described it as the biggest two-wheeled vehicle in the world. What makes it unique is the front fascia, especially the grille. Under the hood, there is the V8 engine which can produce up to 394 horsepower. Of all the Sheik's Hamad Customs, this one looks like it is least drivable. Sherp ATV 
the Sherp is absolutely affordable if you consider the full range of features that it comes with. For just $50,000, you can get your hands on as the best truck in the universe. The car has a top speed of 27.9 miles per hour on land and 3.7 miles per hour on water. The tires are self-inflated, which is meant to assist the car climb over obstacles. This car is able to run on water because there is a device that automatically drains the water from the body of the vehicle. Marauder The Marauder is one of the best military vehicles accessible to civilians. The car has been in production since 2008 and there's been over 300 units produced ever since. The South African company mostly sells these vehicles to world armies and wealthy individuals with the Middle East being a prime market. The Marauder doesn't come cheap as you have to part with $523,000 to get yourself one. It is the perfect doomsday vehicle as it can accommodate 10 people and can drive over just about any terrain. Dodge Power Wagon the Dodge Power Wagon first hit the assembly line in 1945 and has been in production for the last 73 years. The Power Wagon was primarily manufactured for the military. The first civilian Dodge Power Wagon was introduced in 1946. This truck had an 8-foot cargo box. The big block V8 vehicle engine could tow up to 8,700 pounds without any problems. The Power Wagon name came to end in 1981 in favor of the new popular Dodge Ram. The first generation of the Dodge Power Wagon have become collectibles. Mercedes-Benz G63 the Mercedes-Benz G63 AMG 6x6 was first launched in 2007 and was meant to be used by the Austrian Army. It was the largest and the second most expensive vehicle for Mercedes at that time. Mass production started in 2013 and ended in 2015, with less than 20 units sold each year. The car has a 5.5-liter V8 engine which can produce up to 536 horsepower. Maersk Triple E Class the Triple E is a gigantic construction and it's just about as long as the Empire State Building is tall. The deadweight tonnage of these ships is 165,000 metric tons and they're the size of a small city. Despite the efficiency, the engines still consume about 21,000 gallons of diesel fuel per day. Fully loaded, it can carry over 18,000 20-foot cargo containers. As consumer demand grows, it's useful to have huge, fuel-efficient vessels like this carrying freight across the oceans. The Maersk Triple E is among the biggest trucks in the world, and they're truly impressive to see in person. Caterpillar 797B Production of the Caterpillar 797B began in the spring of 2002, and the vehicle is used mostly for heavy-duty construction and mining around the world. This Caterpillar 797B features a ton of improvements over its predecessor. The 797B has a larger payload, which is meant to increase operational efficiency. The Caterpillar 797B also features mechanical powertrain. The Caterpillar has a payload capacity of 360 tons and has a total weight of 557,900 kilograms. The fuel capacity is rated at 1,200 gallons and the vehicle has a top speed of 40 miles per hour. Antonov An 225 Myria. This big vehicle cargo plane was designed by the Soviet Union's Antonov Design Bureau in the 1980s for strategic military air flights. The Soviets were known for building large aircraft and the Maria is no exception. At 83, 82 meters long, with a weight of 285 tons, a wingspan of 88, 39 meters, and a cargo space large enough to hold 50 cars, Myria is both the largest and heaviest aeroplane on Earth. Commander 8x8 An Australian family of eight commissioned one of the largest campers, a monstrous vehicle ever made in the world, in order to explore Australia's most remote regions for months at a time. Designed by Australian luxury expedition vehicle manufacturer SLRV, it serves as a fully functioning house on wheels. Dubbed the Commander 8x8, the vehicle is 40 feet long, two stories tall, and can sleep up to 10 people. SLRV did not disclose the final cost of the camper, but previously estimated that the price would fall between $670,000 and $1.37 million. Pierre Goulomat Seawise Giant is considered to be the biggest sea vehicle in the world. 
but in the ranking of the largest ship by gross tonnage, she is behind the four French flag Vatilis class ULCC's ultra large crude carriers. They were delivered by Chantiers de l'Antique at Saint Nazar in the period 1976 to 1979. Bagger 288. But first, do us a favor click on that like button to inspire us, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any interesting videos. All right, here we go. This is another movable, largest machine ever built in Germany. The Bagger 288 was the biggest land vehicle ever built when it was completed in 1978. It weighed 13,500 tons and it's estimated to cost around $100 million, which would be a lot more in today's currency if you factor for inflation. Just like the FGO, the Bagger 288 was built with the main objective of getting rid of the overburden in coal mining. The machine can excavate up to 240,000 tons of coal daily. In terms of size, the Bagger 288 is up to 220 meters long. NASA Crawler As the name suggests, this is one of the world's biggest vehicles used to transport spaceships from the assembly point to the launch area. The crawler weighs 2,721 tons and has four pairs of tracks located on either end. In terms of dimensions, the vehicle measures 40 by 35 meters. There was a complete overhaul in 2003 for the NASA crawlers to include 16 traction motors. The vehicle can output up to 2,750 horsepower and run on two 750 kilowatt per hour generators. The NASA crawler has been featured in several movies such as Apollo 13. Which one did you find the biggest? If you know any other large vehicles like this, let us know in the comments section. Like always, if you enjoyed it, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and leave us some love in the comments section. To keep up to date with all of our awesome videos, be sure to hit the subscribe and turn on the notifications so you never miss a thing. Until next time, take good care of yourself.